This video is not for kids. This may contain cussing, suggestive themes, and or triggering topics. Anything said in this video is alleged and not to be taken seriously. This video nor channel does not promote or encourage illegal activities. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is as use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And warning again, the following images and or content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Hi everyone, welcome to the Truth Show. With that being said, have everyone broke down all of the prophecies that have came true? Well, if they did, well, I'm going to break them down again. So let's talk about it again, but with more depth. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. There is a prophecy about the sounding of trumpets. This is what is said, it seems, during an Urshadama's lifetime, which is about, you know, between 1503 to 1566. The French prophet, healer, Nurshadam, has made a spot on prediction that Francis King would soon die. He also predicted a great Alain in fire 1666, more than a century in the future. One of his four online prophetic poems called Quatrains pinpointed the year 1999 and described an event much like the aerial terrorist attack on New York City's World Trade Center. That's what it said. In the year of 1999, in the seventh month from the sky, will come the great king of terror, bringing back to life the great king of Mongols. Before and after, Mars will reign by good fortune. I hope I did that correctly. <laughs> that, of course, happened on September 11, 2001, and not in 1999, but with the time variance, we can, you know, overlook that in July or even that September. The prophet's original French says September. Yeah, it did. But it was close, and five distressing prophecies mentioning a trumpet have now stirred up fresh fascination with the prophecies of Nostradamus. Did he foresee Donald Trump? He wrote 942 prophecies that he said that will span between the years of 1555 to 3797 using symbolic language to describe future wars and events. He predicted three powerful political antichrists. Most occult lists agreed that the first two were, you know, Napoleon and Hitler. They disagree about whether the third antichrist has come and gone. Or is he or she currently alive or has yet to be born? Who knows? As I've been talking about Nostradamus, who wrote the prophecies as they occurred to him and not in chronological order, the 1999 quatrain above is one of the few specifically dated. This doesn't mean, however, that the next quatrain discusses the year of the 2000 or beyond. You remember the year of 2000. Yeah, the whole world in crap. The prophecies were arranged at random. Seekers must sift through all of 924 prophecies to find one or more that seemed to fit the circumstances. So it was with the prophecies link to President Donald Trump symbolically associated with the word trumpet, which occurs five times in the prophecies. Here's a video done. prophecies that were predicted about Trump. Take a look. I had to stop it right there because he was going into what I was going to talk about. But with that being said, I'm going to back up a little bit here. Okay. Now, the 10 horns you saw are 10 kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but who for one hour will receive authority as kings along with the beast. They have one purpose and will give their power and authority to the beast. They will wage war against the lamb but the lamb will triumph over them because he is lord of lords and kings of kings and with him will be his called chosen and faithful followers then the angel said to me the waters you saw where the prostitute sits are people's multitudes nations and languages the beast and the ten horns you saw will hate the prostitute they will bring her to ruin and leave her naked they would eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish his purpose by agreeing to hand over the beast, the royalty authority, until God's words are fulfilled. The woman you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. 
Now, in this scripture, it doesn't need any elaborate debunking other than they're in war with God and they will get power for one hour with the beast and then give their power to the beast. They will also later hate her because she was brought out to do just this before God comes. The beast is the ruler of all the kings of the earth. But the next chapter speaks of her fall. Now, people are thinking that Babylon is the Statue of Liberty. But it isn't. Now, this is only a theory. Babylon is referring to the church in which Mary represents or someone else in general. Who, but anyway, whoever she is, she is praised by many on the earth and she will fall because her sins and lines reach to heaven. Then that's when the rider of the white horse comes and his words comes like a sharp sword, as it says in Revelation 19.15. He will come with war and they will lose and they will be thrown in the lake of fire right along with the false prophet that wrought miracles before him and deceived many that led them to get to get the mark of the beast now let's compare this to nostradamus he says the king will enter the world stage descending from distant future skies in the year 1999 now please notate that i uh typed this in 2016 but listen to what i'm about to say I know you must be thinking that this is impossible because it's uh, 2019, but I wrote this in 2016. Well, typed it in 2016. He said he would enter the stage at that time. If some of you may have forgotten, and I'm sure some of you may have, Trump did try and run in 1999. He used $100 million of his own money, but later dropped out because he said that the Reform Party was self-destructing and couldn't provide the support that he needed. Well, until now. Okay, Nostradamus says this. The false trumpet concealing madness will cause Byzantium to change its laws. From Egypt there will go forth a man who wants the edict withdrawn, changing money and standards. The trumpet shakes with great discord, an agreement broken, lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth will swim with blood. The face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. The great senate will ordain the triumph for one who afterwards will be vanquished, driven out. At the sound of the trumpet of his adherents there will be put up for sale their possessions, enemies expelled. The republic of the great city will not want to consent to the great severity, king summoned by trumpet to go out, the ladder at the wall, the city will repent. And this is when things really, really started getting all Da Vinci code which I love, you know, the guy who wrote the, never mind, it's getting off subject. Because the old word for trumpet, way forward, is Trump. I'm not kidding. You see it right there. I'm not kidding. Yes. Byzantium is the name of the ancient city that eventually became Istanbul in Turkey. Earlier this month, well, earlier that year in 2016 when I wrote this. But anyway, Trump took an aggressive posture towards the country, which is now in chaos following a failed coup. Not convinced? How about this verse, which says the trumpet will be extremely divisive and will break an important treaty. Trump has promised to tear up the NAFTA, the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the Paris Climate Agreement, hence what we're currently freaking fighting right now. Yes, this is what this verse said. The trumpet shakes with great discord. An agreement broken, lifting the face to heaven. The bloody mouth was swimmed with blood. The face anointed with milk and honey lies on the ground. Oh, I'm not done yet. There's also stuff about blood, milk, and honey in there, as I just read, which I believe means someone with white skin or, you know, white in the face with a great tan or just makeup. Well, apparently will slap him until he bleeds. But it would be at her lowest point, which I believe is what it means she lies on the ground. I believe this person to be Hillary Clinton or maybe someone from Paris or maybe his wife Melania. Who knows? I guess we will see. I believe the bloody mouth spit out blood. I think that is some of the symptoms that the coronavirus, well, 5G radiation symptoms are. That's what I believe it is. Well, according to prophecy, it says this. You see cherry pick from Nostradamus prophecies and you can assert that they predict or prove something that aligns with your biases. A popular claim is that Nostradamus in line 381 says this. The great shameless, audacious baller, 
he will be elected governor of the army. The boldness of his contention, the bridge broken, the city faints from fear. Now, this could be a past prediction because at the time of his election, the world was and still is in great fear. Heck, Trump's mother, Mary Trump, thought her son would be a terrible choice for president. He bankrupts everything and everything is left in shambles and he knows nothing about business. He's a con artist. He makes deals, drain it, and then escapes it, leaving casualties and death along the path. As a lot of us has been wondering and scared of the Antichrist coming and a lot of death will occur. Well, this prophecy say that more than 3 million Jews were killed. Masada did occur. Masada is an ancient fortification in the southern district of Israel, situated on the top of an isolated rock plateau, akin to a mesa. It is located on the eastern edge of Judean desert, overlooking the dead. You see, when you are in Rome, be sure to see the huge arch of Titus standing at the entrance to the Roman Forum, which Titus and his victory over Israel, seeing the coming of the Holocaust, Jesus wept for Jerusalem as described in Matthew 23. The ruler who is to come is the Antichrist. He's the little horn of Daniel, 7, 8, and the beast of Revelation, in 13. A time gap occurs after the end of the 69th 7 and before the beginning of the 70th 7. <laughs> However, the, the triumphal entry of Christ into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday in 30 AD, but as we all know, God's prophetic time clock stopped. The hand stand poised at 69, indicating that there is still one seven year period left that has yet to come. We have no indication given insight into how long until the 70th um, seven commence. After all, long gaps of 40 years occur between a crucifixion and a destruction. Today, we are still in a gap waiting for the last seven years to commence. But in his word, God has revealed much information concerning his plan for this seven so that we can understand the times in which we live. Also note that there has been several antichrists throughout history, so this will cause as much death as the last ones. But getting back to the seventh. It says that the 70th seven, Daniel, you know, ninth chapter 27 verse, begins when the antichrist makes a peace treaty with the nation of Israel for seven years. It seems he is the ruler of people who will come. The Romans came in around 70 AD. The Antichrist will be descended from them. Many refers to the Jews and the nation of Israel again. This may have already came and gone. Well, let's continue. You see, many believe that God is preparing to restart the clock. The teams are lined up and the ball is about to be snapped. Amazingly, Israel has never been assimilated into another nation. In 1948, Jews came home from all over the world. Sociologically, this has never happened with any people. When is the last time you saw a Babylonian walking around? They're all gone, but not the Jews. We're told elsewhere that the Jews will accept the peace treaty with the Antichrist who rules Europe because they are fearful of the threat of the King of the North. When a Bible student sees Israel aligned with the West and not the north or south or east, he or she is not surprised. This is simply a sign of the times. The teams are lining up. We may one day witness the Antichrist taking control of a 10 nation confederacy in Europe by subduing three nations. As you can see, it's happening now. To be continued, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.